I'm in an accident here and it seems that she's gonna be claiming that I was at fault. This is a story about how your average person responded to an unexpected legal situation in the best way he knew how. It may not have been the best way, nor is it a video to establish who is right or wrong. Hopefully, the viewer will be able to better handle a similar situation by learning from his experience. What's up guys? Welcome back to Live Travel Asia, where we show you what it's like living and traveling in Asia. This is the Asok Junction. It's a famous junction right here. And I was heading over to meet up a subscriber but uh, I got in an accident, so we're gonna have to see what's gonna happen here. We were driving along right there, and I was on her right hand side, she was on the left. We're both trying to do a U turn here, but then she cut me off. And then I braked as fast as I could. She gets a little scratch right here on the side of her car, and you can see right here on my elbow, scrape my arm, it ends up slicing over here honestly I could forego it because I'm not hurt that's the best thing but she wants to claim insurance over this little nick mark over here and I honestly offered to like talk to her she wouldn't even talk to me it seems like she just wants to go straight to the insurance currently I have a subscriber meetup that I have at Koreatown but darn now I'm gonna have to um, sort of have them wait instead of being able to meet him up for like a chat so this is super inconvenient we'll see how it is like in Thailand everyone says that when a foreigner gets in an accident it's always his fault but we'll see exactly how this goes I have absolutely no idea um, the insurance person's coming out here they're probably gonna get me to claim that I'm at fault oh man this will be an interesting vlog for sure so the insurance guy is finally here Wow. I mean, this isn't even about who is right and wrong. It is such a small damage. It's such a little thing. But they are just blowing it up into really, really big proportions. I don't even know what she wants. I'm just asking, what does she want? What damage is she possibly claiming from such a little accident? I mean, it's at a point where I just feel like I don't care if I'm right or wrong. I'll just pay her for getting that little scratch, you know, buffed out of her car. But it's just taking so long. <sighs> okay, so, I mean, at this point, I, I really don't even care who's at fault. I need to know what I need to do to get this resolved. Like, she is not telling me even exactly what she thinks happened. You know, I told you what happened. I mean, you, you, can, you can see that based on the, you know, the scratch on my left elbow, that she hit me from the side, right? If she, if I hit her from behind, like she's, is, I mean, I don't know if that's what she's claiming, but if I hit her from behind, then it should be my forehead, right? Or the front of my body that's hurt. But it is the side of my body, right? So I have evidence on that. And it is the side of my motorcycle that's hurt. If it's a front, the front, my, my motorcycle, if you look at it, the tire comes before the front fender. And the front fender, it's, it's, the front part is already black, so there cannot be a white mark on it. I mean, I don't know if that's what she's claiming, that I T-boned her. But I, I need to, I don't even know what she is claiming. You want me to make a statement, but I am in shock right now because, you know, she, like I'm a little motorcycle. Can we, yeah, I mean, we can't, we can't summarize, obviously, but can we negotiate? I don't know what, like, we have not tried to negotiate. She doesn't speak to me. She doesn't speak to me, right? I try to talk to her. She just wants to claim that it's, a, it's my fault with insurance. That's all. So I'm making an effort to negotiate with her, but she doesn't, right? So how, like, you should tell them we need to come to an agreement. Right, I, I mean, the, what I un don't understand, you keep saying you cannot decide and you need to investigate, right? So please investigate, but you should investigate. You don't need me here to investigate any further. I made all the statement I can. That is as detailed as I can make my statement, right? You understand this, right? What, what, so what do you need me to stay here for? Why do you need me here? 
Oh, okay. All right. So in Thailand, if you cannot negotiate, you have to have the police come. So okay, I guess I guess you can have the police come. But right now, for the record, I'm offering to negotiate with her and talk to her. Uh, yeah, I think I think that is. I think you should have done that from the very beginning. You should have called the police. I don't know why we are here. So okay, just go go ahead and call the police. But I. How long? Because I am going to literally die. If I die, it will be your fault. I hope you're aware of this. Because I am thirsty. I did not drink anything for five hours, and I've been like out here in the sun. It's like really frustrating because they don't like say anything to me. The only thing I hear from the translator at the headquarters is that she is basically claiming that whatever I'm saying isn't what happened and you 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 can clearly see I'm I'm not even like being very specific about it you know all it is is we got in an accident she clearly hit me from the left hand side because I have a I have a scratch there the scratches on the car and the motorcycle are there I don't know who's at fault because I don't know the Thai traffic laws in this particular situation. Now, if I was coming straight on head on from behind her and I T-boned her, yeah, I would. That would be definitely my fault. But that's not what happened. Uh, honestly, I don't know what to do. All I'm doing is just waiting here. I am literally dying of thirst out here. Maybe I should have like exaggerated even more and said. I'm gonna die right now for them to... Wow, so now actually they have the ambulance come. I have absolutely no idea what that was for. He just dropped by. He's like, let me look at your elbow. Check the elbow. I don't know, they're, they're making all the decisions for me, I guess. No! Okay, so now the police are here. Mistake, mistake, go uh, to the police station. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I, uh, yeah, I mean, I say I don't, I don't know either. I don't know Thai law. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So all I say is, see, here, go to police station, uh, Captain, Captain, uh, uh, who, yeah, who, who mistake. Could you uh, just tell me what you think I did? What, what, what are you saying I did? So, it's just basically they want to go to the police station. So actually it seems like the police guy is the only reasonable guy here and he's encouraging us to settle. But um, the situation is that I guess this car doesn't belong to her. Like it's the bank's car and the bank wants to do a police report. I, uh, so it's like even though the damage is super little, super small, they're insisting on going to the police station to do a report. That, I think that's what the case is. Uh, I mean, I guess we'll just sort of wait until we see what happens. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. He, he was actually very helpful. He has to patrol here, but... Me and the insurance guys, now we're gonna okay, okay. go to Tonglor police station to make a report. <laughs> Alright, so he's letting me get some drinks. Although there's another police station that's closer to here, I guess this is under Tonglor jurisdiction, so we gotta go all the way to Tonglor, so it's gonna be a bit of a ride. So I'm here at the Tonglor police station. It rained the amount of time it took me to get here. But let's see what happens. So I got here before she did because obviously there's traffic because it's raining. Basically they explained to me by Thai law, I'm right here and she's right there. And when you're doing a U-turn, I'm always on the wrong if I'm on the right side of her doing the U-turn. Which doesn't really make sense to me because, I mean, as far as what I observe, motorcycles line up right here to do the U-turn. So, basically, 
it you know it does sort of make sense i mean it's it's my ignorance for not knowing but basically these people <coughs> have <coughs> the right of way so <coughs> uh, i i mean i can accept that i mean if that is the law i mean I, i'm not that educated in thai motorcycle laws but that makes sense to me I, I, i'm gonna accept it um it's just my ignorance for not knowing but if you're i guess apparently right here to do the u-turn you can't so the only way he's saying that it's legal to do it is you have to basically follow behind the car when they're doing a u-turn you cannot be next to them so i guess if everybody followed these rules then you would have traffic congestion but <laughs> then again um i mean i hope this is a learning experience for all of you guys don't you know do the u-turn don't be like courteous and go off to the side to do the u-turn just i recommend that you follow behind that way if an accident does happen you're not at fault for it okay so turn of things everything has sort of worked itself out i'll give you more details on it but i'm just sort of waiting for the paperwork to clear out what i'm doing right now is i'm gonna go to pull money at the atm um it's gonna pretty much cost 4,000 baht that's how much we're settling it for for me to pay for the damages it's only like 130 bucks which is completely reasonable for like the cost to buff out the scratch that I made on her car I mean it's not like she's claiming bodily injury or anything like that like I guess coming from America I'm like a little bit more concerned about these kinds of things because like when you get in any kind of accident it ends up being like ridiculously expensive especially when insurance is involved and I gotta say that's one of the reasons I as an American a, a foreigner I'm predispositioned to like be very alarmed with signing things or whatever and, and I, I could have had the situation go sideways in so many ways if I didn't um, I, I, if I didn't like keep my cool you know but everything's working out really well oh okay basically now they're gonna write in the police report that i settled my claim and the insurance guy also wrote up a settlement saying that i paid the claim honestly this is like the easiest car accident that i've ever had to deal with coming from america it's it doesn't happen like this it you know although i had to waste like five hours today I would much rather do that than you know just exchange phone numbers and have something like take months to settle and have the insurance companies settle things because that gets so complicated. I've even had a situation in America where I had like an accident and then I thought they settled it but like two or three years later because they went to some kind of I don't know it was, it was like uh it wasn't like a court they had like an arbitration settlement and then after three years they said it was my fault something like that so i mean i guess that's why i'm like predispositioned to think and be concerned when i get in accidents like maybe more than your average thai and maybe overreact um and that's probably why i think maybe other foreigners might have issues here you know but if you keep your cool and you smile then everyone's willing to sort of help you out out here so here is my receipt that I paid 4,000 baht right there but that's my receipt right there uh, I'm gonna give 4,000 to the claims person and uh, it's settled yay <laughs> so the police officer is doing two copies of the police report to give to each of us, to each of the parties, and I get the receipt from the insurance company. And thank you. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if uh, I I act nervous because I don't know what's happening, right? I don't. But yeah, uh, everything is great. She ends up being a K-pop fan, so we're all clear. Um, it's all happy and smile. If you don't overreact and you're kind, courteous. Everything will work out in Thailand, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. Thank you for being so understanding. <laughs>
Thanks again guys for checking out the video and if this is your first time seeing us, head over to our channel and see the wide variety of content we offer from short vlogs like this as well as in-depth discussion videos about our experiences living in Bangkok and traveling around Asia. I also want to give a special shout out to my patrons as it's with their support that I'm able to use high-end audio and video equipment to make these videos possible. Whatever the case, I hope you guys have an amazing week and I hope to see you guys next week for more vlogs about living and traveling in Asia. Yeah. Alright guys, so it's pretty much all settled. I have a copy of the police report, which is like basically what they're explaining is, is, is very similar to America, basically a criminal law claim. And that pretty much would have settled it if I just signed that piece of paper. But being the American I am, I wasn't willing to sign a document without having it translated um, and me fully understanding what I'm signing on to because I'm basically admitting that it's my fault. I mean, even though I understand it was my fault because, you know, I just have to accept it's Thai law that you cannot be driving on the side of the car. I can completely understand that, you know? Um, but I, I just wasn't sure exactly what was written on there. And then I sent a picture to my girlfriend and she was reading it and she said she made the turn first and then I hit her and I said, well, you know, that kind of detail, could you straighten it out for me and say that, you know, we turned at the same time, but it's my fault because I was next to her, like that kind of stuff. But then um, the main thing has always been from the beginning, like I just want to settle this. It's not even about um, who is right and wrong. I, I mean, having lived in Asia, like, to me, right and wrong doesn't matter as much as what is gonna solve this situation and solution and make everyone happy. That's, that's the way I, I try to think out here. And I, I, I said, hey, if, you know, like, it's sort of an inconvenience because I'm not signing this piece of paper because I'm waiting for a full translation. I, you know, had my girlfriend have another colleague of hers, like a Thai colleague, talk to the insurance agent and really just ask, you know, since it is established that it's my fault, what is the process for me to settle the damages? And then she, he said, you know, he has to basically do uh, an estimate and then they're gonna get money and then, and then claim it from me and, and get it. And uh, it just sounded so similar to American insurance deals. What I said was, you know what, can I just settle it? Could you ask him if there's another way to settle it? And the insurance guy, as a matter of fact, just really easily offer that you know that's one process but the other thing is is the party involved wanted six thousand baht for damages and i'm like hell if they told me six thousand baht back then i would have just paid six thousand baht and just have 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 it gone over with six thousand baht isn't that much money i mean that's that's like chump change for a car accident for me and um he he offered but if you settle right now I can talk to the parties and discount it to 4,000. And I, I'm not gonna haggle anymore there. Well, I mean, I'm gonna try to like haggle for another $30 off. Like, no, I, I, I'm okay with that. To me, that's reasonable. Um, it, it's apparently clearly my fault in under Thai law. And even without all the technicalities, it's like in a situation where at best, I think it's like 50-50, you know, like, we're both making the turn at the same time and I over I, I underestimate that she's gonna make a right turn. Whatever the case is my fault because I wasn't driving safely, being that if I was driving more carefully, I would have been it would have been slow enough where I could have stopped on a dime and not even have nicked her car. So I think I sort of can completely accept that it's you know my fault and settling it for four thousand baht. I, I was happy as a, I don't know, like a word doesn't come to me. I'm happy as a sheep jumping over fences at night. I don't know. But I said, hey, you know what? I'll do it. And I was looking over at the other party and when the insurance guy just reasonably explained, hey, he's willing to just pay 4,000 baht. They, it wasn't much, you know, they, they were really understanding. And they said, yeah, let's just settle it for 4,000. And uh, basically at that point, what happened is they wrote out a receipt from the insurance agent. Um, he said he claimed the 4,000 
I settled it. He gave me that receipt. At the same time, I signed the police report. At this time, at this point, I don't even really care what it says. I mean, it's like coming down to nuances. But what they do is, if you settle the case, the civil case, here at the police uh, station, they can insert that the civil suit was settled into the criminal police. I don't know if this is making sense, but into the police report, which falls under like criminal law jurisdiction. Uh, this this will make sense to anybody who's dealt with the law in the states. It's, it's very similar. We have civil and criminal, right? I think it's relatively similar everywhere, but I don't want to assume. And that was it. And that was it. And you know, I, I apologize for maybe acting a bit. I, I think it's it's on both sides, like this communication um, barrier. And quite frankly, it's my fault because I'm living in Thailand. I don't speak Thai. I shouldn't expect them to speak English. So they're talking to the insurance agent, and he doesn't really speak English. And I'm there, just I'm like, what are they talking about? Are they like um, teaming up to like? get me for a lot of money uh, and and that's really not fair to them honestly because in hindsight now I look at it they weren't they're just they're probably just flabbergasted at the fact that I was claiming that it wasn't my fault and they probably didn't even understand exactly what I was even claiming because they don't really speak English that well so all they hear from the insurance agent through the translator because the insurance agent doesn't even speak English is that I'm claiming that it wasn't my fault you know which I don't blame myself for I mean you don't want to claim that it's your fault I mean I, I legitimately thought you can do that because that's what everybody does right um, I said I don't know if I'm at fault but this is what happened she hit me from the side right and I believe that she cut me off so it's her fault but when I came here, I realized that, right, it doesn't matter regardless whether she cuts you off or not because I'm on the side of her and I'm a motorcycle, it's my fault. So this was definitely just like my previous motorcycle helmet incident, a learning experience for me. It will definitely have me drive a lot more defensively. And for 4,000 baht, it's a really, really great experience. And I'm happy to have spent the 4,000 baht to have a video that demonstrates this whole kind of situation because uh, this is like one of the more rarer occasions but I'm very happy how it turned out and I really really hope this sort of gives you insight into sort of how you deal with not only the police but just any kind of sticky situation um, I know you, you can be scared when things like this happen and you're thinking about what would happen in the states like oh it's just like both insurance companies trying to get the most amount of money getting lawyers involved I mean that's that's what I am afraid of so I was a little nervous at first but lo and behold when like everything is settled I realize it wasn't really that bad to begin with I could have just probably even just followed along with everything they said and I wouldn't have even gone screwed out that much what 6,000 baht like an extra $60 um, and I could have saved myself the five hours of hassle but even with the five hours again I'm saying this again but I'm truly I, I am totally okay just settling everything right now paying 4,000 baht a reasonable fee for the damages and not having to like be back home worrying how much is this lady gonna claim for the insurance estimate I mean not even the lady it would be the insurance company and the dealer right so um, I, I I don't know if you can tell but I'm really happy how things turned out I'm relatively proud of myself for keeping my cool in a situation that I'm predispositioned to like be very concerned about coming from the states and having similar incidents back there and again I hope you guys see that like the police aren't like all corrupt out here and my experience is that police have been very friendly very great especially I mean to be honest though I've only had incidents with this Tonglor office and the Makassan office 
but especially this Tong Lor office, they're, they're super friendly. I, I will tell you they're far more friendlier than cough back in the States. And um, I, I really, really hope this um, sheds some light on things and uh, you guys will have a better trip out here and not overreact. Try to settle things, be reasonable, and um, have as good of an experience out here in Thailand as I do whenever you know I'm dealing with situations like this. So I mean, knock on wood, you never know. I mean, there, there could be situations where things can go sideways and maybe I'm lucky, but all I can do is just share my experience and my experience is that, you know, when I deal with law enforcement, sticky situations like this, it, it usually ends up better than it would back in the States. And it's probably because I sort of understand that I'm not supposed to lose my cool. So if you get one lesson out of this, it's not that you shouldn't be driving on the center of the cars, etc. More important than that, although that is a lesson learned, is that you should always keep your cool, try to smile, and don't be too confrontational when it comes to law enforcement dealing with legal issues out here. It's only gonna make situations worse and you're gonna sort of be um, like that guy that has a self-fulfilling prophecy and has a horrible experience out here and you'll be going back and, and blaming law enforcement or corruption or whatever when honestly it's because you just don't understand the culture and how sticky situations out here get resolved. Anyways, whatever the case, I hope you guys have an amazing week. Uh, I talked a lot, so I'm gonna sign off here and I'll see you guys next week for more vlogs about living and traveling in Asia. Cheers.